I have two Chevy Cavalier convertibles, uh, 1996 and 1998. Both of them have tattered uh, upholstery on the sun visor. Um, so I went online to see if uh, I could buy them on eBay, but couldn't. they're $100 a pop, and I couldn't even find ones that uh, were the right color for my car. So I thought, well, maybe I could reupholster them. So I went online, looked at that, and there's all these great videos about how you can reupholster your visors uh, the right way with cutting cloth and gluing and sewing and cutting cardboard and all kinds of stuff. And some of the visors had clamshell structures. And so you could just wrap the cloth around it and close the clamshell. But this is not a clamshell. It's just a solid piece of uh, whatever the heck it is. So I thought, well, you know, couldn't I just, instead of going through all that work, couldn't I just, like, buy a sock and cover it over? So, uh, you know, I went to Marshall's and I found, I found uh, these socks, five pair for $5.99. There were three black pairs in there, which is enough to do six visors, hopefully, unless you want to do ugly stripes on your visors. And uh, I made sure to get socks that were all one color the you know no gold toe no different color at the heel and it's uh, there's no ribs either so it's all kind of the same material so if i stretch it over the visor it should be just about okay it does have a band here at the top i wish it didn't but uh hopefully i can either cut that off or just tuck it in as is uh, maybe tuck it into this little clamshellish type end here which is the way the original was uh, tucked in so um, well now I, I removed the visor, you know, obviously removed the three screws from the header that hold this on. And then I just pulled this, uh, this arm out, which on, in this car, uh, for these visors, works. I, I don't think it would work for many of the visors that are out there. Um, so I, I can just remove that and then I tried reinserting it and it works great. still has enough friction. Um, I needed to remove the mirror. So um, I just went in. This mirror has four plastic rivets on it, and I was really worried about breaking the mirror and breaking the whole thing when I pulled it out. Um, so I just took a putty knife, and I just gently, at each rivet, I pried up, put my hand over top of it to keep the plastic from breaking, and just gently pried each rivet out of its hole. And uh, and that worked really nicely. And when I go to snap it back in, it actually kind of holds really nicely as well. Though if, uh, when I reassemble this, if it doesn't hold, well, I will just take a small screw like this and um, focus and just put it in here. And that should hold it. But I think it might work even without the screw. But we'll see how it goes. But my goal here is to take the sock and stretch it over top. Look at that, that almost even shaped, almost shaped the same way. Stretch it over top and then uh, poke four holes in the sock for the four holes for the four plastic rivets in the mirror. And then I'll end up having to poke another hole in here so that I can get this arm through it. And then uh, I may have to cut off the end here. I don't know, we'll see. Or maybe I can just get away with tucking it right into this uh, clamshell end here. So that's what I'm going to try and do. If it works, great. $5.99. If not, maybe I'll get it reupholstered. Okay, so I stretched the sock over. I uh, poked four holes in the sock for the mirror plastic studs. Uh, poked a hole in and reinserted the uh, the arm. And uh, if I put this on here, it actually stays on pretty nicely. Doesn't come off. So I may leave it at that, or if I if need be, I'll just uh, open up this and reach in there and put the put a screw into it or put a couple of screws into it, I don't know. But this is too much material here This for me to tuck into this clamshell right here. I tried tried doing it with a putty knife, but it's just way too much material, especially because this band is thick. So I'm just going to cut this off and then tuck it in. We'll see, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I cut the top of the sock off. And... Uh, 
get tucked nicely into the little clamshell end there. Looks pretty darn good. And uh, the mirror's staying on okay. So if it doesn't, I'll, uh, I'll put a screw in from the other side because you can still reach in that stretchy sock hole there. And uh, the arm's working. So still got friction, so that's good. So, you know, it's uh, it's not perfect. You know, he's still got a toe seam there, but it looks pretty darn good in my opinion. It looks a heck of a lot better than, than that did. I think if I had to do it over again, I'd probably get a thicker sock because you can kind of see the the uh, the yellow layer underneath it. But, uh, but man, looks a lot better than that. Only took a few minutes, and um, it only cost... $5.99. So you kind of got to like that. So I did two more for uh, my other Cavalier, which has black plastic. And so kind of looks better with the black sock. I guess I could have used a tan sock on the other one. Maybe I'll go buy a tan sock at Walmart or something. But um, yeah, in, the, in this case, I actually had an old black sock in my uh, rag box that I used for this one. It's a, it was a thicker sock and so you really can't see through to the yellow as well. Uh, yeah, really not at all. And here's the same sock that I used earlier in the video. Um, there you can kind of just see through the, the sock a little bit to see the yellow. So yeah, key would be getting a thicker sock, I think. But uh, in both cases, tucked in real nicely here. And, uh, I don't know, man. I'm pretty happy with that. It looks pretty good. Mirrors are working. So, there you go. Got to load them up in the car. All right. Here are some before and after photos of the visors from my 1998 Chevy Cavalier convertible. These visors have black plastic, not tan plastic on the arms and mirrors, so the black sock matches much better, and it's arguably a better look than the original putty colored upholstery. I didn't reuse or replace the elastic bands that wrapped around the visor. We never used them, and they had lost their ability to stretch many years ago. But it would be pretty easy to get a similar piece of elastic or cloth ribbon from Joanne Fabrics or maybe Walmart and attach it to the visor using the screw holes from the mirror, but I had no interest in doing that. If I had black spray painted the visor's yellow substrate, then that would have mitigated the issue of seeing the yellow substrate through the sock, but as is, it's plenty good enough for me. Unless you spend a lot of time scrutinizing your visors, you just don't notice it when you're in the car. I don't anyway. And one nice thing about this no glue, no sewing method is that if I ever want to redo it with a different sock, I can easily replace the sock in a few minutes. Even though the visor's mirrors held fairly tightly, after I installed the visors on the car, I started to worry that they might fall out while driving and that might cause an accident by startling and distracting the driver. So without even removing the visors from the car, I peeled back the socks and I added small quarter inch by number four size screws into the plastic rivet holes along with some small washers that I just happened to have. That worked perfectly to hold the mirror securely. Then I tucked the sock back into the visor slot looks good and it works well. If you like this video, please hit like so that I'll know if anybody found it useful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions.